hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to show you property in Italy not too far from the beach for under 25,000 euros and that is really not a lot of money to pay for a property now obviously all these properties are not big properties they are quite small apartments but nevertheless I'm sure you'll agree with me to pay less than 25,000 euros for a property in Italy is quite staggering now all of the properties are in Scalaire and Scalaire is a place I've covered quite a bit on other videos and I think for me Scalaire in the region of Calabria which again as a region is very very underrated but I will say um, Scalaire represents incredible value for money when buying property in Italy near the beach actually I think it's possibly the best place to buy near a beach in Italy when it comes to value for money anyway let's have a look at the apartment so this apartment is 50 square meters for only 24 and a half thousand euros it's on the third floor I don't believe there's a lift um, here so you probably need probably we need to be a little bit younger a little bit fitter it may not suit somebody who's a pensioner um, but if you're a fit pensioner why not anyway let's have a look inside it's two bedrooms this that's the um, living area so not bad um, living area with kitchen so you can see it's reasonably spacious there's one bedroom um, another bedroom so perfectly adequate if you're coming to stay on holiday or if you're a digital nomad and there's the bathroom and there's a balcony and there's the view and I think that's quite a nice view um, and you're only paying 24 and a half thousand euros but I'm actually going to show you now something even better uh, my next apartment here is I think for me the best value for money property I'm going to show you today and it's 56 square meters it's a two bedroom 56 square meters for 24,000 euros 24,000 euros and uh, <laughs> this is on the first floor so um, I don't believe there's a uh, an elevator in the building so um, it's only one flight of stairs and it's actually got um, parking space and a storage space as well so let's have a look inside now that's the living area now you see two beds in there you can ignore those because I think they've been put there perhaps because four or five people have been staying in this place but if you ignore those beds this is a really big space I think living area and kitchen and again now there's the bedroom and I think that's quite a good size bedroom as well and there's the second bedroom fairly small but adequate for example if you're a family maybe a couple with a child or if you're a digital nomad who's having friends stay over I think this is really good value for you there's the building bathroom quite a decent side bathroom I have to say as well and again that's one of the balconies so this place has actually got two balconies that's one balcony you can take that off and you've got a nice balcony and again there so you've got two nice balconies and there's the storage space as well so you can put all your things in there and I think uh, I have to say in, in major cities in Europe that would probably cost you 24 and a half that will cost you more than 24 and a half thousand euros alone just to have that storage space in London for example I've seen parking spaces for about 50,000 euros that are not even in the center so this is incredible value for money now the next place I'm going to show you um, is smaller I have to say it's cheaper um, but it's a lot smaller but the selling point here it's on the third floor is that it's got a sea view now it is quite a long way from the sea so I think it was about two and a half yeah two and a half kilometers away but it also does have a parking space so you've got a parking space and um, you've got a sea view and there's the sea view so very nice there's your kitchen living area so it is small I have to say so perhaps this is not for even a, uh, a small family I think it's going to be for a digital nomad or maybe a couple who wants to stay in the summer there's the balcony with sea view again balcony again and there's the sea view that's the main selling point there's the bedroom um, and again bedroom so adequate bedroom there's the it's a small bathroom but you just go in there bathroom and there's a shower as well so I know it's small but it's perfectly adequate I think for a digital nomad or if you're single and want to stay 
for part of the year in Scalaire. Now the next place I'm going to show you is actually even cheaper. So this is, and it's not a bad size, it's 40 square meters, but it's, it's on the fourth floor and I don't believe there's an, an elevator. Um, but I still think this is good value for money because it's only 500 meters from the sea and it's near the station. So if you're coming in from um, somewhere, for example, if you get a flight, you come in from Naples, get the train, to Scalaire, you're really right near your apartment. And that can be an advantage, I think, if you don't have a car. But anyway, this is 40 square meters, 19,000 euros. So this is below 20,000 euros. There's the living area. There's the balcony. And there's the bedroom. And there's the balcony again. Kitchen area. So pretty good value for money, I would say. That's the bathroom. I'm not saying it is quite basic. But the price is just ridiculous. It's under 20,000 euros. I'll repeat that. So here's the penultimate apartment I'm going to show you. Now, this is even cheaper. This is 18,000 euros, 35 square meters. And this also is in a good position. So it's only 500 meters from the sea. And there is actually an assigned parking space. So I think, again, this is great value for money. So let's have a look inside. So again, this is on the fourth floor. I don't believe there's a lift. So you probably want to be maybe um, fairly fit if you buy this apartment. So there's the living area with kitchen. And again, there you go. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, but I just want to get through um, as many apartments as possible. But a nice area. There's the bedroom. Now, it's not a big bedroom, but perfectly adequate and I think again this could suit a digital nomad there's the bathroom so that's a perfectly adequate bathroom maybe even for a couple this could suit a couple as well there's the balcony and that's the area and it's quite a decent area around here as well um, quite well protected so I think this again is excellent exceptional value for money and the last place I want to show you is the cheapest of the lot it's 17,900 euros now this is a bit further away from the sea so we are talking about 2,200 meters away from the sea um, but the condominium charge is exceptional value for money 15 euros a month to keep this going and pay your service charge that is very very little 32 square meters and the building is quite nice um, there's where the arrow shows you there and there's the living area. So actually, I think here, you don't actually have to do too much work in this place. So it's a nice living um, area with the kitchenette. And there's the balcony. So it goes through into a balcony bedroom, decent sized bedroom. And again, and there's the bathroom. Of course, it, it is small, but perfectly adequate if you're a digital nomad. And there's your balcony again. And there's the view. So that's really, really a nice view as well. And there's the apartment outside from the outside. Very nice. And there's your plan. Now, in all honesty, um, if you're looking for something a little bit more luxurious, something um, quite big, um, this, is, this is not going to be for you. But I think if you're on a, a limited budget, I think these... I really think these places are exceptional value for money. And I'd love to know your thoughts uh, if you're on a tight budget. And let's say you've got less than... Obviously, there are um, other charges on top of this. You'll have to pay, for example, pay the estate agent, of course. And you'll have to pay um, the government charges as well for buying property in Italy. All the associated charges with the notary, etc. But nevertheless... I think these places are incredible value for money. So if you've got a limited budget, I think you might just do well to buy here. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I'd love to know your thoughts. That's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching and I shall see you soon on the next video.